Malesco are based in Germany and they make model steam engines. Now Malesco claim to have the largest model steam engine factory in the world. I don't know if that's true in the UK we have Mammoth but Malesco claim they are the largest. Now I don't know if that's true but what is true is when you take a look inside the Walesco factory and these pictures coming up were taken I believe in about 2006 and I can't see that anything has changed. When you look inside the factory it's just like a time warp, it's like you're looking back in time. This could be the 1950s or the 1960s and the machines look exactly the same as I'm sure they did back all those years ago. Everything is done by hand, by sort of craftsmen that appear to take you know, quite a lot of care in their work. Very little is sort of automated and when you think sort of, you know, nowadays you could quite easily outsource this to China and have all these sort of individual components made a lot cheaply, it's really, really refreshing to see something done in the old ways. You know, and you know, sitting here looking at these pictures as I'm making this video, I can't think of anything that just hasn't changed through time. Things that were available, like toys and that in my youth, that are still available and are still exactly the same as they were. And I'm really, really pleased they've not changed anything. As well as selling completed steam models that are ready to steam, they also sell construction kits, and that's what I bought. And in this video, you're going to see me put together this tractor, the one here you see in the factory. And I'm just doing this for my own amusement, but what a great thing if you've made, perhaps got a younger child or grandchild and you could introduce them to the wonders of these steam powered models. Although in this picture of grandpa showing his grandson, I don't quite know what's going on with this little fella's hair, but I guess that's called fashion. In this shortened video on Fred 1, you're just going to see a kind of glossary of the build and then the steam tractor working. If you're interested in this, you might want to go over and check out my sister channel, Fred in the Shed 2, where I did four videos going into much more detail on this build, over 30 minutes of video in total. And if you're interested in these like little steam engines, if you look over on Fred 2, you'll see my other builds as well, a restoration of a steam roadster and also a little mammoth stationary engine and things like that. So it's well worth a look over on Fred in the shed too and what are you there if you can just give me a sub i really appreciate that this is how the kit arrived from germany in a nice big box cost about 250 pounds uk delivered now one thing that i did like was the walesco instructions are so much better than the mammoth ones that i had um you know they go into a lot more detail there's black and white sort of pictures to take you through each step and they're a lot easier to follow as for building the kit, if you've ever done Meccano in your youth, you'll know the kind of procedure. It's literally sort of nuts and bolts. Some of the bolts and nuts are a little bit sort of fiddly. You do need to kind of sort of take your time, make sure you don't drop anything on the floor. But uh, yeah, generally, it's just nut and bolt work, really. It's not that technically demanding. I'm pretty sure that anyone could do this if, as long as they take their time. And that really is quite important because when I was putting this model together, I did make a mistake. Now, I won't have time to show you on this video here, but I do like to show my mistakes and it's uh, fully sort of captured on the longer videos over on Fred in the Shed 2. As for time, how long it takes to build this model, well, I did it over a set period of days, but then again, I was videoing the whole procedure and that takes a long time. You could probably do this in a long afternoon if you're sort of quite technically minded and you're sort of good with your fingers, but uh, my, most likely you'd want to spread it over two days, perhaps a free weekend. And this is the completed model, and I was very pleased how it turned out. These models are really nice to sort of have in the hand. They're quite heavy, all made out of metal. And I was really keen to get it outside and get it steamed up, and then the weather let me down. We had four afternoons of torrential rain in the UK, and I had to wait. And you know what? I thought it was never going to stop raining, but eventually it did. And I was out there straight away with the steam engine, firing up that boiler for the first time. It's a little bit nervous, a little bit exciting after you've put in all the time building it. Anyway, here it is under its own steam for the first time.
didn't she run well? <laughs> I was really, really pleased how she ran. Perhaps a little bit sort of noisier than I would have liked, but people have since told me that's quite normal for these Valesco kits. Okay, just a short video, gonna bring this one to a close. As I said before, if you wanna see the full length versions of this Valesco tractor build, I will leave a link in the description to Fred in the Shed 2, and also a direct link to those videos at the pop-ups that will appear at the end of this video. But as for now, as always, I would like to say cheers, thanks for your view time, stay safe, and of course, I'll catch you all on the next one.